What's going on all you beautiful people? This is Manufactured Opinion here bringing you some more Borderlands 2 awesome sauce and today we are talking about Pyro Pete the Ultra Invincible from Mr. Torg's Campaign of Carnage and uh, before I get into any of the specifics of the fight I am sick so if the commentary seems a bit lackluster I do apologize I'm trying to fight off this cold and destroy noobs at the same time it takes a lot out of me, so I'll try my best to uh, make sure my voice still sounds like the sexiest voice on the internet. Hello, ladies. But uh, anyways, uh, this fight's fairly fun. I fought Pyro Pete twice now. The first time I fought him, I died once. And the second time I fought him, I died four times. I was trying to tinker with stuff and figure out how I can, how I can finish the fight faster. Because both times I, I fought him, both, both times I beat him, actually, um... It took me 15 minutes and I, I called it down to 4 minutes just because a 15 minute video of me kiting spider ants and pyropete around the room would be kind of boring to you guys so um, I left in the beginning of, of me taking down his shields with the electric conference call and then I'm putting in the end when I uh, defeat him but the most important thing you need to realize of this fight is there are two valves in the room that you can hit when he uses his area of effect damage attack whatever you want to call it and you'll see your screen gets all blurry with caustic slash fire damage uh, you need to drown yourself in poop water to clean yourself off uh, don't ask me the logic in that I don't understand it but if ever in real life you find yourself being attacked by fire and corrosive damage find a sewer and dunk yourself in some poop water and everything will be okay and the second most important thing you need to remember about this poop water is two different kinds of enemies pop out depending on what valve you hit. You will have rats, you know, those enemies with guns that run around the room and steal all of your loot and uh, have homing bullets that destroy you in one hit. And then you have spider ants dropping from the other one. I prefer the spider ants because like I just said, any enemy with a gun in this game has homing bullets that take out your shields in one hit, especially if you're using the B, which I am in this fight because of its low capacity. You'll find yourself without um, without shields for pretty much the whole fight, and you're bound to die eventually. Um, the, another thing you need to realize about these enemies is their level will increase every time you hit the valve, all the way up to level 66. Now, I know that sounds pretty crazy, but if you stick to the spider ants the whole time, it is so easy to kite them around the room, especially with a Gunzerker if you're um, specced heavily in Brawn and Rampage that increase movement speed from not only Gunzerker, but whenever you take um, whenever you take damage, you'll be able to stay one step ahead of the Spider Ants all the time. Um, I can't really speak to all the other classes as I haven't done this fight with the other classes. I don't even have another level 50 class, but that's a topic for a different video and... I guess the last thing I can touch um, touch on here real quick is what equipment I am using. I have the electric conference call for taking out his shields at the beginning. The B, which I consider vital for this fight. Um, you could, I could probably do this fight with the evolution shield if the game wasn't a jackass and decided to steal it from me. Um, it would just take a lot longer than 15 minutes to do. Um, a lot more kiting around the room. And I guess another... Another weapon or another piece of equipment which I think is vital to this fight is the Infinity Pistol. Now I know the enemies drop ammo and I know there's those two uh, locations that you can pick up ammo on the side of the arena. But I always feel like I'm running out of ammo and I'm not picking enough up when I'm doing this fight. So I bring the Infinity Pistol with me just in case I get into a tight situation. The Baby Maker is also great. If you fire one shot and then throw it into him, it does some pretty damn good damage, especially if you have the B-Shield on. Um, so any type of TDR um, SMG that you know you can throw for explosive damage is great in this fight. And then I have my trusty Maggie Pistol, which will never leave my side ever because she is too sexy. So anyways... Here's me picking up the Seraph Crystals, and I'm actually working, grinding myself up to uh, enough Seraph Crystals to buy all of the new weapons, so I'll, I'll be sure to make a video of that when I have enough, but as most of you know, grinding Seraph Crystals takes a hell of a long time, so um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, hope you're enjoying the DLC, and as always everybody, I hope you're enjoying life. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.